So in this video, I'm going to show how I pack delicate lamps and light fixtures. You can see it's, uh, it hangs from the ceiling from this part and it's kind of like a globe. We paid like less than a dollar for this. We sold it for $90. Okay, so this is pretty delicate. So what we're gonna do is, since this is two separate pieces that come apart, we're gonna take that apart and pack the two separate pieces separately. So this part just screws off. So we're gonna keep all the pieces together. Take this part off. I'm gonna put this little piece back so that it doesn't get lost. Yesterday we went to the recycling center and we actually found a perfect box to put this in. So this might look like kind of a large box, but it's wide enough and tall enough for me to fit the floated boxes that I'm gonna put these in. So first I'm gonna float the big dome. We're gonna take our bubble wrap and wrap the globe. So we'll double wrap it, so we'll do that twice. Okay, now we've got this nice and padded, so it should fit perfectly in this box. We're gonna do the dome side up um, because I don't want anything to sort of like crush this from the bottom. So that fits in there. It doesn't move when I shake it. Okay, for the second piece, which is the ceiling mount, we're gonna do the same thing. So bubble wrap and a box. So I'm using the priority boxes as shells, but I'm also shipping this priority. So overall, I'm just gonna pay for priority mail. All these boxes come from the USPS website. So they're free. I use them like crazy. So this box is a little bit small for this, but I'm just gonna sort of fold this over and do like this on top. It's okay if this doesn't shut all the way because I'm just trying to make a shell that I'm gonna pad out further. This not closing is okay for this. So we have the two boxes. These are the two pieces of the lamp right here. And now we're gonna fit it in this much bigger box. So the good thing about this box is it's uh, about an inch or so around bigger than this one, and that's what we want. We want to be able to float these inside here so that none of these corners and edges are touching the sides. Okay, so the first step, as we've said before, is you really want to pad out the bottom. <laughs> So let's put this globe first. Perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to pad out all the edges so that this just is completely floating. Okay, so I've stuffed the box in there. Now I'm just gonna shake it to make sure it's not moving around. See, it's just not even moving. So that's what we want. Now we take the second box. We're gonna put it here. I might do a layer of newspaper on top just so it's floating on top of this box as well. Okay. That's going to float on top of the other box, and we're just going to stuff this again. Now that my fingers are turned newsprint, I'll start to stuff the top really well. And once I get one edge of the top, I'm going to kind of lean this over just to keep it all from coming down. Because this top is full of newspaper, I just really want to make sure that it's um, protected, so I'm going to put a couple extra pieces of cardboard underneath just to give it more padding. So now we're going to take our little tape gun 
and we're gonna tape it up. So sometimes on these bigger boxes when stuff is heavy, you wanna tape this side seam because sometimes if it's like overpacked or just a bad box, that'll burst. This one seems okay, but I'm gonna tape it anyway. This box is just like a box that some like mattress topper came in. So I'm going to tape this bottom. It looks sturdy, but I'm gonna tape it just in case. The post office generally doesn't care about boxes like this. Like it's got all these like product stuff on it. But as long as you sort of tape things up like this, like the handle, um, any barcodes should get covered. And any old postage, like someone sent this box here originally, so that should get covered with your label. Okay, let's weigh it. it doesn't seem very heavy. 10 pounds, maybe. 10.4. All right. So that lamp, which did not look very big, is in this big box. But it's necessary because you really need to pad it out so it doesn't break. This is going from the East Coast to Los Angeles. So you just really wanna make sure that it's just like a big marshmallow, basically. We have our label, and then we have our priority mail. This is going priority mail, um, and our fragile stickers. So let's just make sure all the um, barcodes and any kind of other tracking that used to be on here is no longer on here. Okay, I'm gonna use my priority mail stickers to cover up any barcodes or anything that I think needs to get covered up. These are from the post office store also. Okay, that's it. Good job.